We want to show you the area where the investigation is focused. As between this Super 8 motel and the ramp that leads from eastbound 465 onto Southeast Street and US 31. Take a look at these pictures. Now, just after 7:30 this morning is when Metro Police got that call. We're told that sources say it came in from an anonymous crime stoppers tip. Investigators tell us the person was very specific about the location. I actually talked to one of the officers that was among the two officers that went down into the wooded area and spotted the human remains after getting that call. He told me it was about 75 feet down the ramp and an embankment. At this point, there was no word on the cause of death or identity of the person found. Obviously, there's huge vegetation growth, overgrowth, just just around the highway, the exit ramp, and that's what when they had to go through that stuff. They, that's when they discovered the the actual individual human remains. Was it difficult for them to find? It was. They had to at least walk around for some time to be able to discover it. Now, investigators say this wooded area is a place known where homeless people sometimes live. We asked if they found any evidence of that, and according to Metro Police said they did not find a homeless camp near the remains. Now they will rely on the coroner's office, working with those homicide detectives and forensic experts to shed more light on exactly what happened to this person. As we get updates throughout the day, we will keep you posted on the RTV6 mobile app. Reporting live from the south side, Julie Persley, RTV6.